Got the drawings? Yeah. As you know, the cost of change is lowest at the concept stage. Good morning. Ah, here are the designers. And now that everyone's in, manufacturing, design, let's get this underway. The budget for the new design is in. And I have good news and bad news. So pick which one it is that you would like to hear first. The good news. The good news is that we will not be able to afford any rework. This means we must identify potential design errors at the concept design phase itself. The bad news is we have just a month from today to get into market. Right, and the good news is? <laughs> so that's the situation. Time is money and we haven't got either. Now, let's just take this on the road. Today, we focus on just mission critical parts. Ria, take us through the design. What have you got? Okay, just so you get the picture, I have six different views of the valve assembly. Sid, can you help me with this? This is the top view of the valve. The curvature that you see here is what is visible on the outside. Sid, I need you to pay attention carefully because this will sit in the housing that you are designing. So this is the interlocking mechanism that needs to be capable of bearing both the load and the friction. I did an internal search for uh, an existing part, but I didn't find the right alternative. So I had to design it specifically for this purpose. Uh, this is the top view. And this is the cross section. I have not understood anything at all. Can we get machine prototype parts so that we understand this better? Yes, uh, Ria did check with me earlier on getting these parts machined. Uh, the prototype makers have asked for a minimum of three weeks. Any changes, an additional three weeks. So I think the option of rapid prototyping is something that we we'll try. Yeah, right. Rapid prototyping? In-house, we most certainly cannot afford a high capital expenditure at this time. To top it all, they are a pain to install and operate. Let's not even go there. Introducing Uprint, the world's first truly personal 3D printer. What makes it personal? You, and you, and you. With Uprint, you make durable, detailed plastic models. You can make whatever you want, as many times as you want, whenever you want, and wherever you want. Because Uprint is compact enough to fit on your desktop, and affordable enough to fit in your budget. It's the world's first functional personal 3D printer for under $15,000. And it's from Stratasys, the world leader in 3D printing. Which means it's dependable and easy to use. As a personal 3D printer, Uprint is available to you 24-7. No more waiting for a shared printer. Start a model when you want. Uprint keeps working, even when you're not there. Uprint on your schedule. To test form, fit, and function, Uprint builds with tough, industrial-strength ABS plastic, creating fully functional models. All this for under $15,000. Oh, and you get your choice of three accent colors, too. But what really makes Uprint a personal 3D printer is how it brings your ideas to life. You create, you test, you prove, and you improve. Because the new Uprint personal 3D printer always starts with you. Can 
got the drawings? I got the facts. 